Within minutes of sitting for an interview, gubernatorial frontrunner Bruce Rauner makes a bold correction about his personal fortune when asked if he is among the so-called 1% of the wealthiest Americans. Oh, I'm probably, probably 0.01%. Said Rauner, who owns nine homes and made $53 million last year. He's wearing his now-famous Timex $18 watch and swears by it, saying it's his morning alarm. This old watch cost me 18 bucks. Pretty cheap, but it gets the job done. Reiner quickly grew perturbed when asked if the comparisons are true, that he's the Mitt Romney of Illinois. I am a very different person from Mitt Romney. I drink beer, I smoke a cigar, I use a gun, I ride a Harley. It's clear Mr. Reiner has thought about this. I get a crowd going to a standing ovation. I never saw him do that. As the GOP presidential nominee, Romney did get a crowd going at the Republican National Convention in 2012. It's what Americans deserved. Did he? Rauner countered skeptically. To Rauner, the challenge of a statewide campaign is something he's embraced. Over 20,000 miles on the Ford, and I've loved every minute of it. He's a salesman at heart, he says, and he's now making his pitch to the people of Illinois, betraying himself as someone who wants deep change in how the state handles business, unions, taxes, and, above all, education. I got so fed up, I helped start charter schools like this one. It's his passion for school reform and the means to fix the financial mess created by politicians he says are beholden to public sector unions that really motivates him. I love campaigning. I love people. I love to sell. He's unapologetically rattled Illinois' political establishment, vowing to upend what he calls the union's grip on the state's finances. Powerful union bosses and trial lawyers own the Democratic Party and a large part of the Republican Party, too. With all his wealth, why doesn't he just retire? Why go through a political campaign? Our state's going down the drain. Our home is going down the drain. This is my home. It's your home. It's our home. This is our home, and, it's, and we're going down the drain. It's a big deal to me. Above all else, Rauner said he couldn't find a better person who would clean up Illinois than himself. And if I could have found a good person to run who was a real transformational leader, I wouldn't run. I'd go work for him. I don't, need, I don't need my name in the paper. I don't need a job. I don't want a political career. I don't, you know, and, and, and my, my family's going to get dragged through the mud. I'm going to get dragged through the mud. My businesses are going to get dragged through the mud. It's going to cost me millions of dollars. So you could, you could question my sanity. I mean, that's a legitimate. But you know what? If, if I don't do it, I don't see anybody who is. Who's going to turn it around? On social issues, Rauner won't say where he personally stands on same-sex marriage, though he recently said he would leave the new law legalizing it in place. He supports abortion rights. His wife is a staunch Democrat. We know what we agree on and we, uh, you know what we disagree on. Attack ads have slammed around her for GTCR's involvement in companies managing nursing homes, blaming the company for being part of stripping staffing and resources at these homes leading to deaths. The allegations have led to a series of lawsuits in Florida that are still tied up in the legal system. It's terrible. It's a tragedy. I feel awful. My heart goes out to them. Um, I do think it is... Terrible. It's disgusting that politicians are trying to take advantage of human tragedy to score political points. I think that's disgusting. He also added that his company didn't profit on that investment. We lost all our money in that investment. Um, and these accusations that somehow we made money from human suffering just fundamentally false. It's wrong. And we would never do business that, that way. Never have and never will. Miles Mendoza, the executive director of EdChoice Illinois, said when he'd get a voicemail from Rauner, it's like the voice of God coming through your phone. It's sort of this roaring, commanding voice, Mendoza said, adding that at the same time you can hear the passion coming through. Mendoza, who said he doesn't get funding from Rauner, has known him since 2011 to be an advocate for education reform and having a leadership style that mixes confidence and warmth. He is a very loving person. He has this juxtaposition between strength and compassion, Mendoza said. Who else in the universe is a successful businessman but really spends most of their time learning and investing in education? Why is he doing this? Because he cares about disadvantaged kids, Mendoza says. He cares about it. He's like consumed by it. I think that's why he's running for governor, because he wants to change things.